do it. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. We ready. We ready. You ready? I'm ready. She ready. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Speak Your Life podcast. My name is Andre, and today's special guest has been a poet for over 20 years, holds a Master's Woo. of Fine Arts from Queens University, is a huge vegan advocate, <laughs> and is a 2021 Grammy-nominated poet. Please welcome Queen Sheba. What up, though? How are you? <laughs> Pretty good. How are you feeling? Good. Thank you for having me on your Speak. It was a Speak Your Life? Speak Your Life, Speak yeah. Speak Your Life. That's, That's right. right. Speak yeah. Your Life podcast, That's Andre. Right. I appreciate you. I'm glad you're able to come. And, you know, the traffic's been crazy. Oh, ridiculous. it's All-Star Atlanta, Weekend. Like, I don't know. Already... Is this live? Are they going to see it later? They're going to see it later. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. This yeah. is All-Star Weekend. And yeah. uh, it took me 45 minutes to go seven miles. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's real? This is real. This is real. It's this really is happening. This is Atlanta. Yes, like, welcome to Atlanta if you haven't been. Man. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, you got the cool glasses on there. Oh, I see. You These are, the, thank you. These yeah. are from Goodwill. These I, cost me I five love, bucks. This shirt, Goodwill. Pants, I, Goodwill. Yeah, and, and you Polo Fresh. Yes. <laughs> the shoes, too. <laughs> they ain't ready, y'all. They, I like to me and my cousin used to call us GW Fash. <laughs> That's what we call it. I literally was like, oh, these could be like my cycle glasses. And I just <laughs> threw them on. I was like, these are yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, it reminds me of something Anderson Pac would. Oh, like, I love him. Yeah, oh I was listening to the new song with uh, Bruno yes. Mars. Yes, I was too. Ten times in a row. I was like, oh, that's a good song. Yes. I can't wait for this album. It's going to yes. be so. And woo. as a DJ, I was like, oh, I'm mixing this. Oh, I mean, man. Yeah. It was fire. Like, yeah. I don't even know how to describe it. I was like. Put in my feelings. Yeah. Like I was in the 70s, even though I wasn't born yes. then. <laughs> so. There's another um, song that reminds me. Her name is Vanessa something, and mm-hmm. it's called Ass Like That. It's so, it yeah. has the old school vibe. The old school vibe. Yeah, it's yeah, so, yeah. It's so that good. That groovy feel. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Vanessa. I don't even know you, but your song is I don't know who is Vanessa great. is, but shout out to you. But uh, <laughs> anyways, we're going to go ahead and get started, y'all. Uh, so, you ready to speak your life? Yeah, I'm ready to speak my life. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, so basically, we like to ask everybody here on the podcast, like, uh, there's two questions. Uh, you know, Mark Twain you know, always said that, you know, there's two most important things, and that's the day you were born and the day that you knew why. So uh, The day talk, that you knew why. Nice. It, yes, okay, yes. So, okay, okay. So, so talk to us. You don't have to give us a, a direct date, but uh, talk to us about uh, maybe the era, the culture, what was going on during that time that you were born. And then give us that journey oh, to knowing <laughs> yeah. why you were born. Uh, so that's funny because I usually mm-hmm. lie about my age. <laughs> so uh, what was really happening when I was born? Um, I was born in the seventies. That's okay. It, hey, is, it is okay. Embrace it. Embrace oh, it, y'all. You gotta Andre, embrace it. Yeah. Like, I'll be on hinge lying about my age. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, "Ooh, girl." I'm like, "Yep, yeah, like, yep." Uh, so well, you know. it was this. It was the yeah. late seventies, and Yo. I um. You know, what was going on then was definitely a boom of black culture and mm-hmm. fashion. Yeah. Um, the big hats, the bell bottoms. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's right. Uh, yeah, so. The disco balls. The everything. disco balls, yeah. the, yeah. you know, the pimp era. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Um, You know, I, I never knew if it was really real um, about the, the fish the fish bowl shoes. I, I guess, you know, that was, I, I wasn't know. around to see that, but. <sighs> I only see it on the movies, so I, that's all. Only in the know. movies, yeah. yeah. And um, so then I went into the '80s, you know, where mm-hmm. there's that that pop culture fashion, and then yeah, um, late '80s, early '90s was when Will Smith crossed over. So that's that was kind of my life. And then Kumo D, LL Cool J, mm-hmm. the Roxanne, Roxanne, the real Roxanne, Rakim, Rakim, yeah. um, Big Daddy Kane. Yes. So the whole Black Power movement that's was right. happening in hip hop. And I was adopted into an all-white family in Detroit. Wow. Not in the suburbs. And so mm. I'm walking around with my afro, my hair big, and my, my red, black, and green leather medallion. Like, I'm black, y'all. And I'm black. They're like, okay. You know, so my parents were hippies. They were cool. You know, very liberal. Peace and love. Yes, they Peace were definitely love. rolling up weed on the... Yeah. I know that sounds cliche, but I promise you my parents were rolling up weed on the album That's covers when funny. I would sneak downstairs. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. looking like... Wait, what are you doing? Right. So uh, that was that's that, that was happening around my you know my my born era, mm-hmm. and then when did I know why? Um, mm-hmm. Was probably around two thousand 
one ish mm -hmm. when I got fired from Bank of America and yeah. I um, and I started doing spoken word full time. I was doing it part time before then. Was introduced to it yeah. a few months into me doing spoken word. Mm -hmm. um, I got fired because I was living in Norfolk, but I Norfolk, Virginia is mm -hmm. like three three hours from DC. Yeah, it's yeah. five hours from Philly, six hours from New York. So you literally could go up and down the yeah. East Coast. Um, up and burning up 95 and Dang. doing all these poetry spots and then it's in the middle enough where you can also go down to the triangle to the raleigh durham Cary area mm -hmm. where all the colleges were so mm -hmm. we were just jumping in my little acura at the time yeah. and uh and gas was 99 cents at the time Ooh. just burning up the freeway and i would come in late and then i was yeah. starting to come into my consciousness and then my hair went from a perm to an afro and then i shaved my head of all this like oh nah bitch you gotta go like you just <laughs> you're doing too much for bank of america yeah. so i got fired from there not for that for another long story but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. but i mean it's, it was on kind of all wrapped into it and i feel like if i hadn't been fired from bank of america yeah. i probably would have stayed comfortable and was and would have done poetry part-time and then had a full-time career but yeah i've been able to um make my life and i just and i and i thank god for it that mm -hmm. i'm still popping in these streets that's right still relevant <laughs> son you know what i mean still putting out books and albums and videos and tiktoks and shit i just that, got yeah, on that, TikTok. The, the new york essence coming out yeah that's you know, you know pride, what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> i always say like people who have the most state pride is from texas people who have the most city pride from new york city that's that's what it is. That's, it's never gonna change. It's so funny, but I'm from Detroit, so you know I don't I don't know. We don't really have an accent. It's just kind of yeah, we say pop. Yeah. You know I don't know why I, I said it, it's like you give all this New York essence. I don't know what it is, even though yeah. I know you're from Detroit. Like I don't yeah. know. I guess maybe because I know you went to Queens University, all that stuff. But uh, I don't know. So people so. People always, I'm trying to go live. Yeah, so yeah, people yeah. always say that, right? But mm -hmm. um, it's not Queens College. It was Queens University out of Charlotte. Really? Yeah. So people, uh, when I put that on Facebook, I was like, hey, I got accepted to um, Queens for grad school. Everyone's like, oh my God, I'm coming to visit you in New York. And I was yeah, like, yeah. That's misleading. No, it's, it's Charlotte, you guys. It's Charlotte. So, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You're right. Because I, I just said. I'm in an interview. What's up? They went up. We live. <laughs> Yeah. So speaking live podcast. What's up, y'all? We live. We live on. Uh, we live here. We live everywhere. But uh, man. Uh, but yeah, that's that, that's cool. That's cool. So you know, you said two thousand, two thousand one. You were figuring out things, uh, leaving Bank of America, and no, not leaving. They fired me. Let's 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 say what it is. Or, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. was fired. She was nicely transitioned out. Yes. <laughs> I really feel like that was, that was my Orisha, my yeah. Oya. This is Oya on my arm. For mm -hmm. always, everybody always asks me that. This mm -hmm. is Oya on my arm, and I feel nice. she's in charge of, of like telling your path or moving yeah. you onto your path. And and uh -huh. and if you're not going the way you're supposed to go on your path, she's like, ah, oh, nah. Let me destroy mm -hmm. some shit so you can get back on track. And yeah. I just feel like you know I was always supposed to be a spoken word artist. So yeah. hey, here I am. There you go. There and I do go. a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I do. Um, I'm a uh, so. So this, so this, what y'all hope you could come to? What are you doing next Sunday? Next Sunday. Coming I'm, to my Grammy party. <laughs> that's right. I, 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 <laughs> I just got booked, y'all. I just put in my schedule. Like, yeah, it's right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I, so I actually saw that on Instagram and I was like, oh, it's a Grammy party. Like, oh, for, for the public. That's cool. Yes. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, it's only, yeah. because it's only virtual. So Grammys are only streaming from mm. LA because they had a COVID scare in January, but it was only yeah, going to be streaming yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah. So I forgot who the host is. I can't remember either. It's but. not Bruno Mars. Who is it? Uh, oh, like if he, if he did host, was it, it really cool. Is it Hill Harper? No, I forgot who the host is, but anyway, so. I can look it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it's only streaming, but then somebody from the staff or somebody got COVID that even though it's only streaming, they were like, no, we're going to push it back. Trevor to Noah. Trevor my Noah. Guy. That's right. My guy. Trevor Noah is the host of the <laughs> Grammys. And so he's going to be nice. streaming live from LA with the artists that are performing, but they're performing mm -hmm. to no audience. Oh yeah. And yeah. so people are having Grammy parties around mm -hmm. the country, and so Atlanta's Grammy party <laughs> is yep. Sunday, 
not this Sunday, but next Sunday, Sunday, March 14th, yeah. during the Grammys mm. from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And yeah. we will be at 393 Marietta Street mm -hmm. at Apache XLR. So go to Apache what, what, what Cafe. We'll leave the link below. We'll leave yeah, the link yeah. Below. Apache yeah. Cafe dot info mm -hmm. and get your tickets. Tickets are only $10 in $10. advance. $20 yes. at the door. Reserve yourself a table. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm up for a Grammy. My homegirl is up for a Grammy. And then the other yeah. poet that's on the um, album with Robert Glasper, she lives in New York. Wow. So she'll, they'll, she'll be having her own Grammy. So, so there's, there's, Only I remember you mentioned bucks. like, was it somebody from Beyonce's camp or something like that? No, no, no. So okay, we're up know, against Chloe and Haley from okay. Beyonce's camp. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. we're up against Chloe and Haley, but it's all good. Whoever, yeah. Whoever wins, wins, but yeah. it should be us. Yeah, 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 I mean... So hey. we're on Robert Glasper's album. Okay, yeah. Oh, all right, so, all right. So all right. we're on cool, Robert cool, Glasper's cool. album called F Your Feelings, and Robert Glasper's album as a whole mm -hmm. is up for progressive R&B album of mm. the year. Okay, and So okay. Um, if the album wins, we all win. Nice. Pretty, and I'll be really things. honest with you, I don't really listen to him, but I, I, I always am open. When I go, see, when I watch the Grammys or when I watch... The Academy Awards. I always am open to listening to something like, "Wow, like this is like they have all these movies I, n I never even experienced." Yeah. So now it, it gives me an opportunity to yeah. check out new things. New it is content. interesting because Robert Glasper is um, early forties, maybe 42, mm -hmm. 43, 44. Okay. And so he made that song "Calls" for Jill Scott. Okay. Um, yeah. He made a lot of stuff that we listen to that our yeah, age group yeah, listens yeah. to, but he mm -hmm. also makes contemporary jazz. Okay. Like yeah, his drummer, I think is. First of all, his drummer is fine. <laughs> Hello, drummer. But um, his drummer, I think, is like early 30s, and he okay. used to be a hip-hop drummer. Okay. Well, he yeah, is yeah. a hip-hop drummer, but to have that kind of hip-hop element mm -hmm. with contemporary jazz, I think is dope. Yeah, yeah. You know, so and even his bass player is mm -hmm. a dude out of um, New York. Robert Glasper was not initially from New York. He's from Texas, actually, who moved to New York. Okay. And yeah. then um, his bass player is like this funky dude from New York. So he has a really great mm -hmm. mix, mix of... People. Artists, yeah, people. yeah. So, wow, I'm I excited mean, for you guys. Thank you. I'm yeah. excited for us too. What up, everybody on What's IG? Ah, ah, this is Andre. Hey, what's good, y'all? Uh, um, so. yeah. So awesome. come to the party, mm -hmm. dress up, whatever dress that means up. to you. All right, all whatever. Right. We got a red carpet right. and a step and repeat. I'm and a, since this is the only Grammy I'm, opportunity we're gonna have, I'm gonna come in my GW fashion. Come bro. on, come do it, it. Do it. Come, on, man. <laughs> come on, do it, Bo. Do it. All right, but um, so like, let's re rewind a little bit. You know, let's get the audience to get to know you and who you are and all that stuff a little bit more. Um, so what do you, in your opinion, what do you feel like poetry? Has and in what way would you feel like poetry has served our people, our communities, and even you personally? How do you? How would you, uh, what would you say to that? I, and I hate to sound cliche, but it's and the, that's okay. It's the do. truth for me. I appreciate yeah. that. Um, is that poetry has saved my life over and over and over and over again? Even mm -hmm. um, now, I'm I'm not that kind. I hate to use the words. I don't like to use the words just little and kind of right mm -hmm. because you're not just doing something. You're doing it or you're not. Yeah. You're not doing anything little. You're doing it. Or you're doing it big. That's right. And um, I only like to use kind of because you just like just do it, claim it, right? Mm -hmm. So. Right now, I am going through a tough, and it seems like the longest breakup ever. <laughs> like, it feels like, yeah. it, I feel like this breakup has been happening for almost two years. Like, and really? then the, even the last couple months have been the worst. Mm -hmm. So I've been able to write and help other artists wow. um, right through pain, right through suffering, right through their challenges. Uh, check themselves mm -hmm. in their writing if you're writing the same thing over and over again about your breakups and it's obviously something that you're doing you're yeah. not setting the right boundaries <laughs> you're not you know doing it's something it's not them it's me yeah <laughs> So um, I have mm. a online course called College of Dope Ass Writers. You can follow us on Instagram. Okay. And it started in my living room three really? years ago. And then we grew out of my living room. And then we got, went to Gallery 992. And we had 25 to 30 people, no audience, mm. every week to come and workshop their poems. And it wow. was a loose structure. We would have BYOB. And then mm. I would have a writing prompt every week. And then people would write and then volunteer. But since COVID hit, I mm. purposely pivoted to a a purposeful intentional online course that yeah. people sign up for it's eight weeks long so okay. I teach people how to publish a book in eight weeks wow. how to awesome. go from 
from novice to performer, from mm. novice to publish, from mm. uh, even if you already have a book, even if you've already yeah. self-published a book, I can give you all the insider scoops. I'm always, because I work at Clark, I'm always getting places that are looking for, I'm also a creative yeah. writing professor at Clark. Clark Atlanta, shout out. Clark, HBCU, Clark Atlanta, HBCU. Here in Atlanta. So I'm always getting places that are looking for poets, paid poets, paid positions. Mm -hmm. um, it's really great to be tapped into the university. Yeah. And that's really, honestly, one of the reasons that I stayed with Clark is to be able to help people that aren't in college right now or maybe have graduated yeah. get the the fresh inside scoop on who's looking for um, authors who's, yeah, who's yeah. looking for books who look who's looking to publish in and, and then be able to you know get all this inside information so yeah. the course is Tuesdays and Thursdays 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Tuesdays is writing workshop day I have special mm -hmm. guests like I said I've been in doing poetry for 20 plus years so yeah. I have a plethora of special guests come through every week nice. and then on Thursday I teach you how to start your own business so I help you launch your own business so I am um, I can I, I have 17 billion hours for um, small business startup I can help you write your PPP and your EIDLs mm -hmm. I can help you write grants I can give you all the basics for a small business startup so when this money starts coming through the government you you and your business can be prepared it's so simple small things even if you're an artist if you're mm -hmm. a, a poet or a, a hip-hop artist or a singing singer or a comedian if you are not registered with SoundScan, if you're not registered with bmi and ascap yeah. even this podcast can get you bmi or ascap or sound exchange points which you can get um paid from wow. so i help you do all of that in a in, that. in a She's dropping gems y'all yeah yeah man. come <laughs> come through please sign up the next yeah. our spring course starts um tuesday march 30th okay. so please follow us on instagram College of Dope Ass Writers all spelled out and you can DM me my phone number is there and also the link to sign up for the course mm -hmm. is right there and um, for the first let's say five people that DM me and mention this podcast mm -hmm. then I'll give you a 50% off coupon for both days the Speak Your Life podcast the Speak Your Life podcast yep what if I do it what if I'm one of those five people like right now. Yeah, do it. <laughs> then you can get fifty percent off. Absolutely. And it's so and it's so cheap. I'm gonna break it down for you how cheap this is. So at the moment, my first year introductory price, because I always want to make it affordable for our people, it's only three hundred and twenty dollars for eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And and first of all, it's tax season time. Are you gonna invest in yourself and get this course and get these jewels, or are you gonna blow it on clothes and shoes at the mall like you usually do? And if I give you a fifty percent off coupon. Well, first of all, let's break it down that $320. Yeah, yeah. $320 over mm -hmm. eight weeks is only $40 a week. Yeah. And I just said Tuesday is two hours and Thursday is two hours. That's mm -hmm. $10 an hour. That's, that's really good. That's, that's it. I'm not charging $5,000 yet. I'm yeah. not even charging $2,000 yet. We're at the beginning stage, we're, yo. I'm, right, because we went from my living room. Yeah. We went to Gallery 992, and now we're pivoting. we got to bring everybody back over to you know the online course. And I want y'all to get these jewels and gems about how to get out here, especially in this digital word, mm -hmm. world, marketing, promotions. Have you heard of Thinkific? Have you, mm -hmm. have you heard of Kajabi? Have you yeah. heard of those things? Yep. See exactly. Have, see, I'm learning come, something too. Come on, you I'm know, learning. and I'm, of course you can go look it up right now while you're watching this. But yeah, yeah. join College of Dope Ass Writers on Instagram. I mean, follow us on Instagram, yeah. and then DM me, say hey, I want to join the class. Or yeah, um, first yeah, that's right. First ten people or nine people. Did I say five or ten? What did I say? Five. 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 We might have to change it to nine. Okay, nine. <laughs> nine more Next people. nine people. <laughs> we can do nine. I want y'all to be there. The yeah, next yeah, yeah, nine yeah. people. That say mm -hmm. I saw you on the Speak Your Life podcast. I will give you a coupon for fifty percent off. So that means uh -huh. you're gonna get mm -hmm. eight weeks, two times a week for one hundred and sixty dollars. Yeah, eight is one sixty divided by eight is twenty. Twenty dollars a week for four hours a week of mastery, inclusion, business, and poetry, Woo! publishing, writing. Mm. You can't beat that with a bat. Twenty dollars a week. That, that, this that, is invested in you, not that in me. Is an investment. Stop looking at. Like I said in the last episode, stop looking at things like a cost. 
This is not a cost. This is an investment. It isn't an investment because in one, once I give you the information, you get all the course tools. Yeah. Of course, you get a graduation package mm -hmm. if you graduate, and there are stipulations yeah. to that. Yeah. And you can't be going around missing class and be like, oh, I've graduated. No, no, no. no, no. no there's so, requirements. Sure. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you got homework to do. Exactly. I'm going to help you get your um, Dun & Bradstreet number. I'm going to help. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set you all up. Man. You know, walk you through it week by week. And, you know, hey. Man. Man, that's nine that's people. Lot. Nine people <laughs> go to College of Dope Ass Writers Woo. right now, and uh, f first you gotta follow us. Yeah, and then you got to um, say in the DM, "I mm -hmm. saw you on the Speak Your Life podcast." There we go. And get your fifty percent off. Fifty percent off. Twenty bucks a week. Yeah, that's that. I, I, think, I think you said enough for the people. They. See, it's it's on them now. It's on them. You you said what you you said your. Piece. What's up, Trey Daniels? <laughs> What's yeah. up, man? What's up? What's going on? You got to have Trey Daniels on your podcast. He's an amazing... Trey Daniels. Trey Daniels Music. Okay. He's amazing. He, um... Mm -hmm. Trey Daniels does the saxophone. Okay, cool, And, cool, cool. uh, he has a whole band. He's super dope. Let's see who else is on here that you nice. should have on here. Um... Hey, what's up, Sheila? Uh... We'll, we'll, how about this? How, we'll, we'll get back to those people. Okay. I'm going to ask you a few yeah. more questions. Okay, okay Um, cool. so... Like, in, 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 I know you talked about how, you know, you know, breakups, pain, all these things, how poetry has served you individually. How do you think it served us as a community, as black people and stuff like that? I think, yeah, that was the original question, right? Mm -hmm. We got off on a tangent. It was a two-parter. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. um, it's writing mm -hmm. is better than selling drugs, beating up people, mm -hmm. misplacing your anger. Um, I wrote a poem yeah. one time that says that you can't feel two place you can't feel pain in two places at the same time mm -hmm. and i learned that from a doctor actually so like if your finger hurts you sprained your finger they're like uh oh well break your wrist <laughs> like oh, you man. know whichever one feels worse that's what you're gonna <laughs> feel right so i think that the mm -hmm. pain of breakups and mm -hmm. um the mental health for yeah. our black community is we never really think of writing as a resolve, but writing helps you feel like you're talking to someone mm. without really talking to someone. What, I mean, what I don't mean without really talking to someone. What I mean yeah. is, um, you don't want to tell everybody your business, right? You, right. Want, you don't want to call up everybody and wear them down with what's going on because everybody's going through something, right? Yeah. But writing helps you feel like get get out. It helps you feel like you have talked to someone and got it down on paper mm. and get out all your emotions. Yeah. But I do also encourage the number one thing that you should have mm. as far as a small business is a therapist. Therapist. You should I, have a therapist. Use your Obamacare. Use your medical insurance. Mm. Use whatever you have and yeah. get a therapist. Even if you see your therapist every other week or some mm -hmm. sort of regular schedule for the rest of your fucking life. Even if you yeah. have to change... Well, coaches, you know, it could be mm -hmm. your pastor, it could be a life coach. You can switch it up every now and then. It doesn't have to be the same therapist forever, but yeah. you should always have someone of a professional level to be able to talk to and bounce things off of. Yes, you can talk mm -hmm. to your friends, but we all know that misery loves company. And don't <laughs> just just so don't true. just go to the people that you're gonna be like, yeah, girl, you know, fuck him, fuck her. Don't don't just do that. That's that's the, that's the echo chamber. Yeah, that's that's, the that's just you know people. People, people are it's gathering their allies. No, no accountability. No, no accountability. No, no objectivity. You right, know? exactly. So, Have people yeah. around you that are going to say, I understand how you can feel like that, but mm. can you also look at it like this? Exactly. One of my best friends, um, mm -hmm. Georgia Me, she lives over here on the west side. Nice. She, I was talking to her about my breakup, and mm -hmm. I was saying something that I didn't... Um, that I didn't like that was mm -hmm. happening. And she was like, I can see how you feel like that. But look at the bigger picture. I was like, fuck the bigger picture. I don't want to be mature. You know? But then you have to step away from it and be mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, Jesus. Yeah. You know, we are in our 30s or 40s or whatever age you yeah. are. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, a million. When you're an adult, you got to take accountability. You do have to take accountability yeah. and responsibility. And not all adults are. So speaking That's, of that which. That is very true. Very true. I have a book coming out. Mm -hmm. Um, it's my second collection of my own um, poems and short stories called Clemency, Clemency. How to Accept the Apo Poems and Short Stories mm. on How to Accept the Apologies You'll Never Receive. Mm. And so wow. it is 
Woo! Dedicated to my ex. And I'm not sure if I'm going to put their real name in there or make up a name that they would only know by looking at it. You might I, not want to go through litigation I, issues. Well, no. These are my poems and they're not like, you know, fuck you. They're just like, oh, okay. this is what happened. You it know? can get real tricky in the in the court of law. Hey, but hey, you know. I mean. I'm thinking I was going with the second one anyway. The, okay. the, the, the second name that. They would know by reading it, okay, and yeah, others yeah. may be able to speculate. Okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe so. your inner circle. Like, oh yeah, I know who. I yeah, know, I know yeah, who she yeah. talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know who that Tyrone is. Tyrone over there. <laughs> Tyrone. Tyrone. <laughs> what is that comedian who's always doing the animals talking about Cordell? Yo, Cordell. Yeah. You know. I, I, I can't remember right now. Cordell is that dude? Cordell is always a country boy. Cordell, I oh love God. him. He's hilarious. But um, but yeah, no, but you're you're so right about like how but, but poetry it, has helped yes, our make, people. Therapy. Being in a therapy, yes. a platform, yeah. instead of doing illegal or harmful mm, or, un- mm, or non-productive toxic things, yeah. or toxic things. Mm. Um, take a step back, write yeah. it down. It gets out at least that initial anger. I mm. promise you it does. It may yeah. not feel like it. Typing, writing, whatever you do, mm. once you feel angry about something. And you don't even have to have a full thought or a full process. Yeah. Just if you're feeling angry or anxious about something, just get out your phone, write down what you're feeling then. And mm. I like to call um, um, pieces Segment Cemetery and I think I'm actually going to add that to this next book so really? Segment Cemetery is where you can as the reader can take what I wasn't able to finish and finish it and mm-hmm. then publish it as a collaboration piece between the two of us nice. so you get my book and then you're like um, oh I'm, I got clemency and oh I'm thumbing to the back oh let yeah. me get this hey me and Queen Sheba wrote this poem together as long as you you know quote us both then yeah. so people can publish it on their own wow um, so that's also so June 19th is when I plan on bringing that book out so maybe I'll come on your podcast before then but anybody mm-hmm. who picks up my book on Amazon mm-hmm. which you can either follow me on College of Dope Ass Writers since that's what we talked about but my Instagram is the Queen Sheba T H E and this is everybody that's on here. The mm-hmm. Queen Sheba T H E Queen Q U E E N S H E B A. Just DM me, say hey, I want to get one of your books, yeah. and then um, you get the second book. You get free entry to the book release party, or if you're not local, then um, you get the second book for ten bucks. Oh, nice! That's yeah. a good deal, guys. Super That's a good deal. Super. The BBC reports a U.S. workers' online study said that nearly 70% agree public speaking skills are critical for success at work. Maybe you are a student looking to become a prime candidate for that internship or might I say full-time position, or maybe you have already been in the job market for some time now and you just want to stand out amongst your coworkers looking to get that raise you feel like you've been passed up for for too long now. Go to speakyourlife.com slash private dash lessons. That's speakyourlyfe.com slash private dash lessons. Again, that's speakyourlyfe.com slash private dash lessons to become a better communicator tomorrow by signing up today. All right, cool. Um, Yeah, so um, I was also going to ask you... um, you know, there's so many, there's so much amazing poetry out there, uh, you know, from the Mayas, the Langstons, the Phyllis Wheelies, the Nick That's Giovanni's. not our, they, that's cool, but those not know. our generation, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. It's cool, it's good, people should read the classics, I'm not... The history, that's yeah, right, I'm not, point. You mm-hmm. know, I'm not um, tripping off of that, but one reason I started College of Dope Ass Writers is because I remember sitting next to... Um, Amir Baraka, um, I've run, run into Nikki Giovanni, Sonia Sanchez uh, mm. on on occasion during yeah. my 20 year career, right? But there was never a reach down and say, hey, Queen Sheba, hey, uh, Mo Brown, hey, Bridget Gray, hey, um, Ingrid, hey, uh, mm. Liz Strait, hey, you know, whoever my homies are. D- Who this is your- this this is those people I named are, yeah. are my peers. I was about to say, uh, who yeah. are the people that that motivate you, that inspire yeah. so you, those that are... you feel like you're in touch with? Because I know the people that you know that you know. I know as I'm not you know in the Ursula poetry Rucker. circle I mean, like you, but like you know people who are. Like, so Ursula Rucker was on the back of all touch. the Roots albums, right? Mm-hmm. So Jessica yeah. Caremore lived here in Atlanta for a, a billion 
well, not a billion years. She lived here for a long time and then moved back to Detroit. Yeah, She's yeah. only like two years older than me. We both light skin, long hair, and been mm-hmm. on the Apollo. And yeah. and those are people that I look up to. Mo mm-hmm. Mo Brown, I haven't talked to in years, but she's an amazing poet out of New York who who does um, activist work and. Um, does work in the poetry community. Oh, my friend Candy. My friend Candy from Dallas is an amazing, incredible woman organizer. Mm -hmm. She puts on the Women of the World Poetry Slam every year, which I will be hosting the final stage, which is such an honor. Yeah, Um, yeah. April 7th through 10th, I believe it is, down in Dallas, Texas. I'm about to announce that on Instagram um, okay. when I leave here. Yeah. Y'all make so, sure you write this stuff down. Yeah. Got a lot of dates There's, and a lot of events to be a part of. Yes. So, I mean, mm-hmm. the biggest thing is I'm always posting poetry stuff. Mm-hmm. There's stuff all around the country to do. There's Fly Poet. Yeah. Um, by John Hensley in LA and I'm not sure if he's gone back to doing his regular schedule program but if he is, if you're in LA or a surrounding area go to that. Yeah. Um, go to Busy Bees in San Diego up in San Francisco. Okay. Um, there, I mean, there's so there's so much poetry around the world. I've been to... Their, yeah. their poets have been to way more countries than me, but I've been to 10. I've been to mm-hmm. 10 countries, but people have been to 30. They've been to 50. Yeah. They've been to whatever. Yeah. I, I'm a flight... Flight attendant, so I've been to like Are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Where, yeah. For so who? Delta. I, I'm with United. Yeah. Oh, yeah. bro! What are you doing? This is Atlanta. <laughs> what is happening right Hey, I went with who went with me. Hello. Uh, yeah. Hello. That's right. But yes. um, but yeah. How well, long have like, you been a flight attendant? It's been like only like three years. Almost. Okay. Yeah, I'll be three years in May. Yeah, How do you like so, hopping around? It's been it's been cool. It's been cool just yeah. being able to just see different people from all over the world and yeah. uh, get to try different foods, uh, yeah. live in different places and stay in different hotels and just interact yeah. with so many different kinds of people. Um, it's been amazing. I met, you know, Stephen Colbert. I met like, nice. you know, uh, Sheila Jackson, nice. Congresswoman from Texas. Like, I met all kinds of people, like a yeah. uh, dude from HGTV, one of the twins, you know. That oh, was, nice. Yeah, yeah, So I've met all kinds of people, sir, all kinds of oh, people. Oh, the guy, the twin, the guys. Yeah, yeah the yeah, two yeah, guys. Yeah, the, yeah. One that, the one that, the, the full, more full beard, the okay. longer hair. That's the one that, I can't remember his name, okay. but like, that's the one I met from HGTV. But okay. I've had, I met all kinds of people and it's like had so many cool experiences and cool encounters. Mm-hmm. And I've been just very thankful for the ability to travel and to be able to uh, mm-hmm. just see the world beyond Atlanta, beyond the United States. And I think a lot of times in, you know, our community, like we get, you know, like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not traveling. That's, you know, that's not for us. Or, you know, that going to this place, that's not for us. Like, what do you, like, I think we got to stop breaking, we got to start breaking those limits and those boundaries and mm-hmm. like leaping into those places and going to see like, man, these are the different possibilities. These are the different places where like, I could live here for a second, you know, while I'm living I, my life and before I have kids, you know? Um, one shout out I definitely want to give on here. So, Lynn, yeah, yeah. Lynn Wright, mm-hmm. Lynn Wright's too, is up in Toronto. Toronto, they don't say the other T either, like well, Atlanta. to the six. Yeah, to the six. So, tonight, I am performing in Toronto mm-hmm. on When Sister Speaks. It's a virtual show that we taped a couple months ago that we were supposed to do live the 20 year anniversary last year me and my friend masterpiece from dallas Mm -hmm. and then we started coronavirus over there we didn't start it but i'm saying that's where we were when coronavirus is like uh, i hit the world and they were like no go back home no 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 no, so yeah we didn't get to perform Mm -hmm. live so this year Dwayne morgan um in january he was like hey can you tape your performance and send it so tonight at 8 p.m eastern Mm -hmm. standard time is um when Sister Speaks. So go, you can still buy tickets. Go to When Sister Speaks either on Instagram or when sis, up from the roots.com and mm-hmm. then you can still buy tickets for tonight and see me live. Something I just taped a couple of weeks ago. So Yeah. And, cool. and so like as we, you know, conclude things and, and just kind of like uh, this, you know, conversation that we've been having, like what do you feel like are some of your, I know you've covered like all kinds of topics in your, you know, um, in, in all of your different videos and live events and stuff like that, politics, relationships, what do you feel like are some of your like top things or things that you really love to cover? If you had like a, maybe a top two or number one subject, what would it be? Uh, self-help, better yourself-ish mm-hmm. type of work, um, yeah. introspective. If I only had it, like if, you know, God came down and was like, you can only write about two topics forever, but mm-hmm. it would be social political, um, mm-hmm. what's going on in our everyday, even yeah. if I had just had to stick to Atlanta, like if God was like, you can only stick to Atlanta subjects and like whatever else, yeah, then yeah, yeah. it would be social political events that tie into people of color, community, 
um, that affect us daily, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and it would definitely be um, self empowerment mm. um, poems. Mm-hmm. I want people walking away from my set um, feeling empowered, feeling like they can do better than whatever they are. I don't care mm-hmm. if you're a trillionaire, popping, organized, yeah. all your plants are watered, Jeff Bezos, <laughs> 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 whatever. You can still do better. That's like, right. That's right. Always love. You can up. do more than one push up. You're a billionaire. Like, you can be a trillionaire. trillionaire. Like, keep going. <laughs> is wrong with you <laughs> lazy you know but um, yeah, yeah. but yeah so I just definitely um, empowerment because mm. I I struggle with that y'all mm. I, I struggle <sighs> Yeah, we this, all struggle with different things. Yeah. No matter how strong, I think. See, and, and this is, a, I think, so this as is black a, people, we 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 were, we were seen as so strong, especially as women, like the black women in our community. Yeah, are, a lot of them are so strong. But like, I think it's like it's good to we're rely to, on uh, and just it say, is. hey, it's good. It's, I think it's so strong to, have, a to have vulnerability and yes. just say, hey, I have a community that supports me, that loves me, that cherishes me. I and love I don't my have community. To do it I by love myself. my community, and my That's community right. doesn't let me do shit by myself. That's if right. I say I'm Started the clothing line, they're supporting. When I started my, I, I make cookies, y'all. My community was like, "Oh, you making cookies now, bitch? We buying Boy, cookies." Three books. Hello. They, they were like, "Oh, you making cookies? Oh, we're supporting your cookies." So That's right. I make infused cookies. Uh, 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 infused is a safe word. Infused is a safe word. You must be twenty-one or older, guys. A, you must be twenty-one or older. Eighteen up, whatever. Yeah, or eighteen. I don't know. Infused, what that is. <laughs> infused cookies. Wink, wink. And yeah, yeah. Um, love on top pancake shop. I have a new website. I have a website. I have branding for everything, so, which is why mm. to bring it all back, you yeah. should. Join College of Dope Ass Writers, our eight week mm. program, which starts March 30th. Yes. The link is in my bio on yeah. my Instagram page. So check it out. So check it mm-hmm. out. And yeah. it's also on College of Dope Ass Writers. And if you're the next nine people, then I would give you a 50% off code. Mm-hmm. Um, Mama Amira is an amazing professor down in Florida, and she's going to be one of our guest speakers. Um, mm-hmm. I think she said she might be joining the course too. I'm not sure. She really doesn't need to. She's an amazing professor, yes. and she helped me become an amazing professor at Clark. So yeah, yeah. Um, so, which is mm. empowerment. Yes. Mental health. Mm. Getting through breakups. Getting through your everyday. Yeah, the everyday. I struggle. also teach. As spoken word artists, we tend to write about everything. Like if you write a poem about Atlanta, people tend to write everything about Atlanta. Mm. What if you were to just write about um, the history of the Hawks. What if you were just to write about Dominique Wilkins? Mm-hmm. What do you, what if you were j- to Very write about specialized. Yeah, what if you were to narrow that scope? I can teach you how to narrow that scope. Mm-hmm. I can teach you how to be a great performer. I can teach you how to publish a book. I can teach you marketing and promotions. Um mm-hmm. Yeah. I can teach you how to become a millionaire as a poet. So uh, there's so many, so many things like you. So you many. have so much, so many gems just in there in that mind. You just gotta yes. get it out and share it to the world. Yeah. But um, but yeah, as we conclude, y'all, uh, you know, we had, uh, you know, as we conclude, we had this question that we we like to, you know, drop on everybody. And just okay. say, you know, hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get ready, get ready. Uh, so you know, if life, what's is, up, Kendall? Because I know you like analogies as a poet. If life is like a house. Oh, shit. What does your house? What is one foundational piece your house stands on? If you had just at least, I know there's so many things. Integrity. You could, integrity. Integrity. Would you elaborate? Yes. So do what the fuck you say you're going to do. Mm-hmm. And so on the artist side, if you say, if I, um, one of the examples I was given, I think week six in the in the workshop mm-hmm. was if you decide. I also give you as artists. The yeah. questions to ask before booking, right? Yeah. Because um, you can make a mistake and short yourself some money. Mm. So mm-hmm. um, if you decide, and I'm just making this up, sure. that you've agreed to do a show for $50, a yeah. sandwich, and a Coke, and you show up and you realize that a thousand people have paid $100 to come see this show, you still better perform your fucking ass off because you agree. You agree before you got there. And that is what integrity is. Integrity is being your best self when no one is watching. Mm. So yeah. if it's not, and, and making sure that your camp, your people around you are able to eat. Make sure that everyone mm. can eat. It's just like the the art game, the rap game is just like the drug game. If you're, <laughs> I, I promise you, if your people around, mm. if your camp can't eat, and you at the top talking about oh I'm 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 popping I'm making these millions they coming for your throat. 
Good luck. They're coming for you. They're coming for your throat. They're going to leave you. They're going to turn their backs on you, etc. I'm not saying you got to pay everybody. And I say mm-hmm. pay. You don't got to pay or pave everybody's yeah. way. But you do, like if you're saying, hey, you're my crew. Hey, hey, yeah. I, I care, care about you. you. Yeah. Hey, then let me give you the jewels to make you better. Which is what I was going to say about mm-hmm. Amir Baraka, Sonia Sanchez, Nikki Giovanni. They yeah. were great, but they never had they never had that circle and said, hey, spoken word artist, this is what you do. Or this is yeah. at least what I did. Mm-hmm. Because they don't know what's coming. They yeah. didn't know all this technology was coming. We didn't. I, TikTok has been born since I've been in Atlanta. Yeah. TikTok is like it's not, it's five years, years old. old. Yeah. yeah, like it's something like even um, Instagram. Yeah. It's Instagram. I think even Facebook has was born since it's I've like been 2004, in. I believe. Yeah, and I, like yeah, maybe something like that. So mm-hmm. think of all the things that weren't around 10 years ago. Mm-hmm. So they didn't know what was coming, but just take care of people who yeah. take care of you. Be kind to people. Don't be an asshole to people. If you want to make jokes, make jokes about yourself. Yeah. And that way people can feel comfortable and, and you, you know, I've, you know, learned that a long time ago when I started doing comedy. Don't mm. make fun of people in the audience unless you know them because they may kill you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, literally. Literally. Yeah, my seriously. homeboy, um, Will, the real one, mm. he was a host in Miami mm. and um, he owned his own poetry spot and he's a funny guy he's 6'4 yeah. and um, he was you know just making jokes about these hip hop artists who came on probably the same way all of us what they bombed I think they bombed and mm. then it's speculative that they are the ones who came back around and shot and killed him in front of his spot back in Wow. 2009, I believe. And so it's that just... crazy. Yeah. What's up, Fit with CJ? It's another one of my homeboys. He, I won a uh, 5K off of his... And then had a really good 5K off of his <laughs> page. I want to be in your next video, CJ. <laughs> what up, though? All right. So uh, we so closed that segment. So we... Integrity. That, integrity. That, is the, that is the foundational piece of your house. And so as we wrap this part up, uh, we have this last, very, very last segment. I'm good. It's called the question of the day. And the question of the day is, if yes, you I'm were single. hosting oh. the Grammys, not Trevor Noah, <laughs> if you were hosting it, who would you award the best singer of 2022? Oh, fuck. I have no idea who was singing. Who was singing in 2020? Singing, rapper. It could be any, like, musical oh, artist. Like, it could be I wasn't anybody paying in te- attention to no fucking body. All right, let me think. Let me think. Who the fuck was out there? Okay, Doja there's, Cat, uh, Pops. No, there's... Meg Thee Stallion, Megan. there's Doja, did there's Megan Stallion Bridgers, get a, there's like so many people, there's, huh? Did Megan Thee Stallion get Grammys did. the year before? I don't think so. In 2019? If, if, if I'm not mistaken, I don't, I don't think because she Because she came out with, what you call it, in, um, 19, she came out with uh, Big Old Free. She yeah. came out with Tina Snow. Uh, I don't think she got, I don't think she in received Grammy. the Grammy, but I could um, be wrong. No, 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 she was just the nominee. Okay. Oh, no, 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 she's... Her first time being nominated is this like this oh. this, this go around. Oh, I thought shit. she was like Singing. getting nominated since like twenty nineteen. All right. Oh my god, this is gonna be this is gonna be so ill. Let me say this: this is gonna be so ill informed. So yeah, I mean, there's so many people. There's yeah, Nike smoke. There's like you know, uh, Freddie Gibbs. There's uh, Jesus. There's so, there's many, so many people. I, so my first, my niece. Jay Electronica. Jay Electronica. He yeah, been around he was, for thirty seven. Did he come out dude, with something? Dude has out. He's like he's up for album of the year, rap best rap album of the year, of with oh. Smoke and, and Nas and all of them. Uh, okay, 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 mm. okay. So, just for fun, I probably would give best whatever, like whatever we're giving out. Best, yeah, best to, art musical with, artist yeah. to D Smoke and to Megan Thee Stallion. I okay, okay. Just because D Smoke. Kinda was making his way, then he went on the TV show, and then he blew. And so Mm -hmm. it's like, he already was being an artist beforehand, so he was putting in his work. He was humble enough to go on the TV show. He wasn't like, fuck that, I've been, you know, I'm already out here popping. Oh, oh, you're talking about Rhythm and, uh, yeah. Yeah, Rhythm and Flow. Flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, So he was humble enough to go on there, and then Mm -hmm. still blow from there, and then was putting on great performances. So, um, D Smoke, I want to do a song with you, so let me do (laughs) some... Let me do like 16 bars on your shit. You know what I mean? Anybody know D Smoke out there? Man. My so friend Nichelle. Who it does it my sounds like between Meg Thee Stallion and D Smoke, she's leaning towards D Smoke. Because I'm leaning towards D Smoke. Well, anyway. we, well, it's male and females. I'm giving. Oh, they have a. They, I thought they had like. We're making this a word up. 
Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> You're right. We're You're making right. this Grammy up. So. A, but no, no, no. Check this out. If you had it to do one person, oh, God. who would it be? <laughs> you got to choose one. <laughs> you got to choose one. Well, one, then I'm going with Megan Thee Stallion. Okay. Because not enough women win shit overall mm-hmm. in the world. Okay. So. All right. Well, there I'm you going have. with Megan Thee Stallion. She's got guests. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I'll yep. give her album of the year so her guests on the album can also win. Too. All right. <laughs> yeah. So. Nice. Nice. And then Spoken Women R&B Progressive Hour R&B Album of the Year is going to go to F Your Feelings by Robert Glasper so we can all win. That's right. That's yeah. right. So. Sorry, anyways. Chloe and Haley. Thank we love, you. I love you. You guys can come in second. Thank you guys so much for listening and tuning in. Thank you so much for being on the podcast. Thank you for having I, I really me here, appreciate Andre. I appreciate yeah. you. This it's is been, great energy. It's been a vibe. It's been a vibe. So, uh, man, make sure y'all follow her on Instagram uh, at the Queen Sheba, and uh, you know, check out. Uh, I'll leave the link below for all uh, the the different you know courses yes. and uh, and stuff like that that she has. And uh, be sure to reach out. You know, to, uh, reach her. Slide in the DMs. You know, uh, make sure uh, you just. Try to try to see how you can uh, learn something because she's had a lot of gems that she dropped, and, and this is only the twenty surface level. years, you guys, twenty, 20 plus years, of exp- experience. years of experience. So um, that there we go. So, anyways, thank you guys again. And be sure to follow the Speak Your Life podcast on Spotify, Apple Speak Podcasts, podcast. Stitcher, everywhere, Google Podcasts, wherever you listen to your podcast. And uh, again, we are expanding on YouTube. We, we, we're, we're focusing a lot more on video content as well because we know a lot of y'all on YouTube, like myself, and uh, we're, we're just so excited to, to, to be growing on there as well. So, um, and, and the last thing uh, we also wanna say is uh, become a supporter by pay, uh, being, being a patron supporter. Uh, you can you know be a monthly supporter as little as a dollar to you know as five, 10. There's different hey, kind of that's levels up. of sponsorship for, you know, there's different you know giveaways and things like that. We wanna you know, uh, reward people for being part of the community and just, uh, just saying thank you. Uh, because without you guys, we wouldn't even be here. So uh, thank you. Your, your, your support is much appreciated and it allows us to do this amazing content with amazing people. So thank anyways, you. love you guys and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace. Peace. Peace, y'all. Order your cookies. Please. Order your cookies. Get Order your, your cookies. cookies. Get your co- <laughs> cookies. 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 Get your, cookies. Get your, get your cookies. <laughs> Peace out. I'm going home to bake. So DM me your cookie orders. Peace out. Okay. So again, um, we're not done just yet. Psych, uh, we were just playing Psych with y'all. Psych, we're back. <laughs> um, Psych, your mind. <laughs> yeah. So basically, we just wanted to uh, thank you for staying to the end of this episode, and we just wanted. To, obviously, we mentioned how Queen Sheba is being nominated for a Grammy this year, and so we just wanted to give you a little sample of what you know she got going on. The sauce, you know. The sauce. Yeah, a little sauce. Drip, you know, you know what I'm not, saying? Not, not the whole this thing, but you know drip. what I'm saying. Like, give it a little, little piece. <laughs> give it a little snippet. So what we got? Here's a here's a little something. Here's a little something. Look, they tricked us. You're not supposed to love it unless I'm half nude, nipples protruding through on the video shoot. But you already know what I'm about. A self-sponsored headhunter. Red, black, and green on my medallion. A black fist on my Afro pick. First rule, only fools Google the revolution. I tell these players the same as I tell these street hustlers. Your position's entry level. Fronting like you're an executive and you work in the mailroom. Getting fiked like Luima. Plunging in the bathroom while record execs got the office with the window. Mm. Rebel music makes gangsters clap for a different reason no hammers no barrels just applause and a reason to go home and i can't lie and say i ain't thought about suicide but if jesus walks then allah runs marathons kickbox your skeletons plan to make better decisions work smarter play harder let your children love their father mm. procreate plant seeds like a garden and pray to god they find peace and self-knowledge because you're not supposed to love yourself unless you wake up like the simpsons everybody hate, hates chris and end up like bobby and Whitney. Take control like Dave put the Chappelle show on hold and chant Pharaoh, Pharaoh. Tell the police to release the chokehold and let my motherfucking people go. Peace. Peace. No, Peace. No. <laughs> Come to the Grammy party. <laughs> On the, 14th, on the 14th at Apache Cafe, That's right. 393 Marietta Street. Ten dollars. Dress for the cameras, y'all. Yeah. Ten dollars a Grammy party. It's a restaurant. They got it's a, a red restaurant. carpet, y'all. They got a red, red carpet. Red carpet, step <laughs> and repeat. Come through. Ten dollar Grammy come through, party. Come, come on. All right. Peace well, out. Peace. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>